Here's the basic setup for the lab. I've got a long track and I've got a little ramp on the end. I have a piece of tape, some arbitrary distance up the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ball and I'm going to hold it up to the tape so I roll it from the same height every time. Let it go. And I've got a book at the end of it. And I'm going to calculate the speed of the ball along the track. And I'm going to get the fastest speed and the lowest speed from all my trials and all my calculations. Now when you're rolling along the track, you need to make sure you do one more thing. You need to make sure the track is level. So you're going to take this little guy, it's called a bullet level, and you'll take it and you'll lay it along the track, and what you want to see is you want to see the bubble right in the middle of the lines, and that means your track's level. Because we're talking about horizontal or initial velocity when it comes off the table, and you'll make sure you have it. So I'm going to make sure, in fact, I need to adjust my track a little bit because it's a little bit high over here where the bubble is located. So I need to make it so that that side's, or the, sorry, the other side, the left side, is lower. All right, so now the track's all set up. So I've got the high and the low. I take whatever measurements I need to figure out where the ball is going to land on the floor. In this case, I figured out the high speed and the low speed that the ball should land somewhere between 50 centimeters and 60.2 centimeters. So that's a 10.2 centimeter difference. So I took a piece of paper, drew two lines on it, 50 centimeters at 60.2 centimeters. They're 10.2 centimeters apart. Then I taped it on the floor exactly at the right landing spot. So to do that, what I did, I took a meter stick and I slid it out. In this case, I knew the low, the low point was 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters. So here we go, 50 centimeters. And then I use this little guy, it's called a plumb bob. What I'll do is I'll hold it by the string, and the weight, the point of the weight is directly beneath the string. So I'm going to hold it right here on the edge of the meter stick, that's 50 centimeters away from the lip of the stick. So there's the, you see where the 50 centimeter mark is? Okay, it's right there at that lip. There it is, 50 centimeters. And then I'll hold it, hold it right next to the ruler, have it go straight down, and I can see where it's touching the floor, and that's where I'm going to put the 50 centimeters. So that's what I've done there. So I know the edge of this paper is the low point where it should land. Almost set. When you're taking the paper and sticking it on the floor, make sure you use blue tape to hold it on the floor. Blue tape because we can see it, and also it won't leave any marks, so it comes off really easily. Then lay the carbon paper down. Carbon paper has two sides, a black side and a white side. The black side is the side that leaves marks, so I'm going to hold the white side of it up, just over top of the paper. At this point, call the teacher over. He'll verify that everyone's okay with all the measurements and the placement of everything, and you get one try for it to go off the table. And you get one try for it to go off the table and land between the marks. When it hits the carbon paper, it'll leave a mark, so we'll know exactly where it is. Good luck.